let us see about checkbox. So checkboxes, also known as tick boxes or tick box, are widgets that permit the user to make multiple selections from a number of different options. So this is different to the radio button, where the user can make only one choice in the radio button. Here you can make multiple choices. Usually checkboxes are shown on the screen as a square boxes that can contain white spaces so let us see the example so let us start with importing the tinker we will be importing all and now let us say a is equal to tk let us define a variable let us say variable 1 is equal to int variable. So this checkboxes also contain the values inside it. To store them, we are declaring this var1. Now the keyword for the checkbox is check button. Capital C, don't forget. And then pass A and the text is equal to let us say check button 1 and variable store it in the where 1 so this once we have stored we can use it for our further purpose and then we should have to pack it so instead of pack we will be considering grid this time grid and inside that you should have to pass the row is equal to say let us say 0 and sticky is equal to to the west so we have created one check button let us create one more is equal to int variable same thing I will be copying this one and paste it here this time it is checkbox 2 and store it in the variable 2 and the row now is 1 enter and don't forget to main loop now let us execute it so this is our output so we have created two checkbox unlike like radio buttons we can select only one here you can select as many as them so let us create two more so now actually this variable contains some values so that we will be seeing in your next example for now let us create is equal to one more we are let us copy these two like copy Control C, Control V. Variable three is equal to int var. Here, let us say three, four. This one is four, three, four. Same thing, we'll change the row to two and three. Let us execute now. Press F5 and OK. So here we have created four checkbox. So here we can miss whatever we want we can choose it and then we can write our code for the checked loops.
so actually these variables contain the values when we press when we tick mark the check button or not so it contains only two values either 0 or 1 so if you press check the checkbox it will contain 1 if you leave it blank it will contain 0 let us see that so for that let us write a simple code let us print the values first let us say where one dot get the value comma same thing where two dot get the value these are the default values we are getting first where three dot get so these are not shown in the window this will be shown in the python shell where four dot get so now let us execute this okay see here all contains zero because we haven't checked this one as a default so now if we press this one actually now this value contains one so to retrieve this value let us create one more button and get these values after ch checking this so let me close it and let me remove this and create a button now button let us say a and let us say get values and comma let us command is equal to m get let us let us place this also on a grid row is equal to 4 comma stick to west capital w don't forget now let us write this method let us define this method define m get And now get the values let us write one more button for quitting text is equal to let us write quit and a dot quit we can write we, we have seen like destroy this time we will see quit both are same don't worry and grid row is equal to 5 comma stick is equal to stick to the west now let us try to run it you can either press f5 or go like this also both are same non keyboard arg somewhere we have done a mistake so I think let us say destroy non keyboard ARG what is that so actually I think we should have to write command is equal to both are same let us see quit method now go to the run or press f5 everything should be fine so see here get values quit and first let us get the values see here all are zeros now check this second button and now click on the get values see here this one is one so these values contain zero or one zero for unselected one for selected let us now select all of them and click on the get values see all are one based on these values whether it is zero or not you can write your own code and place it in the methods using the command and now if you quit 
So actually it is quitting. So when we are pressing quit, it is quitting from the program, not from it is not closing the window. So if you want to quit, you have to use destroy. It will destroy the complete window. So when quit is used, I will be explaining it in our further example. For now, if you want to close the window, use destroy. If you want to quit the program, you should have to quit. Use the quit. And let us make some more like width is equal to let us say 25 here also let us say width is equal to 25 now let us execute so now we got this one and first get the values check two hope you understood the concept so depending upon these values you can write your own code now if you press control it destroy the window not only just quitting so before we used to get this but the window is still open so that we can run it again so according to your requirement you can use quit or destroy hope you understood this meet you in the next video until then keep practicing